1905, the Inland Sea was created. When massive flooding of the Colorado River swept a wall of water through an irrigation canal, that water continued to flow into the Salton Basin for over 18 months. As workmen scrambled to repair the breach, by the time they were done, the Salton Sea had emerged. One of the world's largest inland seas, once 45 miles long and 25 miles wide. In some places, you cannot see the opposite shore because of the Earth's curvature sitting at 227 feet below sea level. In the early 1950s, developers saw opportunity and towns like Salton City and Bombay Beach popped up along the Salton Sea shorelines. With resorts catering to tourists interested in water sports, fishing and swimming. By the 60s, Salton Sea was a popular tourist destination. Today, when you drive around the area, you will find old, abandoned resorts and rundown homes. Many abandoned homes that still remain are crumbling, and now it looks like a disaster making these areas a ghost town. Millions of carcasses are now left behind, making it no longer a vacation spot. The shores have now become a spooky shadow of what once used to be a great vacation destination. When you walk around the Salton Sea, you can smell the intense rotten egg smell that makes this area not desirable anymore. about 70 meters and over 200 feet below sea level, making it one of the lowest points in North America. This area is one of the hottest and driest parts of the country. Braving the harsh summer months, when temperatures can reach above 120 degrees, as the water evaporates from the sea at a rate of one foot per year, its salinity increases. The Salton Sea is shrinking every year and fighting for its life. Imagine that when the sea dries up, what would happen when all the water is to disappear? Imagine life without water on Earth. In 2003, it had become clear that Salton Sea was headed for disaster. The Imperial Valley and San Diego signed the largest agriculture to urban water transfer agreement in U.S. history. The Imperial Valley would now sell much of its water supply for drinking to the communities of the California coast. Today, farmers still flood the fields with water and less runoff flows into the sea. The toxic agriculture runoff water contains not only fertilizer and pesticides, it also contains nitrate and phosphate, creating additional ecological disaster.
Most people are not aware that there are active volcanoes in the area. Called Salton Buttes, located in the southeastern portion of the Salton Sea. This area has 11 geothermal power stations, which fuel the strange mud pots found here, made up of acidic substance that forms into mud volcanoes and sometimes bubbles up and ejects out over the rim. Over 400 species of birds once lived here, which are more than found anywhere in the U.S. But as the lake dries up more and the salinity goes up, there are no fishes around anymore. And there is no need for many of these birds to stop over here, since they have nothing to feed on and the water is too toxic. Today, the Salton Sea salt is twice that of the ocean. This deadly sea makes for some strange environment. The sea is so toxic, its ecosystem collapsed. The beaches around the Salton Sea are deceiving, for it is not sand, but rather the remains of ground up bones of birds and fish that once lived there the sea will no longer be able to sustain any life. When the toxic dust builds up and you breathe the air, it's exposed to your bloodstream through the lungs, which is when the residents in the area suffer with respiratory problems, such as asthma, and the kids are some of the most vulnerable. Asthma in Imperial County is rampant. The local population suffers, and more kids are admitted to the emergency room here for asthma and other respiratory cases than anywhere else in the United States. Almost one in five children suffer from this condition. An elaborate 2007 proposal to build a healthy sea inside of the dying sea was dropped because of its cost of $8.9 billion. The state resisted at the cost of two more proposals in 2015, costing 3.1 billion and 1 billion each. More creative proposals to desalinate the sea or even pipe water from the Pacific Ocean on Mexico's Sea of Cortez have gone nowhere. Each and every day, the salt and sea continues to disappear. We, the humankind, have the ability and power to remarkably shape the planet Earth. We can sit back and watch the entire sea disappear, or choose to act and recreate it back. If there is no immediate action, then we are headed for enormous environmental tragedy.